This is a bit depressing. Mm. Someone can't do these things sober. Oh, no, wait, there's alcohol in this stuff. Absolutely, darling. And I firmly encourage you to get as drunk as possible. <laughs> uh, and then actually, before you know it, yeah. you've actually found a friend? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting to it's us. It's a pleasure. And congratulations. Thank you. This is your film debut. It How is. do you feel? I feel great. I feel very excited. And why this particular story? I just, I fell in love with the love story. I love the characters, I love the humour, I love the fairy tale aspect of it. And I love that it was also grappling with some big issues in there, but in a very careful and respectful way. Cut there. Cut there. High five. Now it is. Reading the screenplay and converting it from the novel um, with Jojo, was that an important aspect to ensure that you're true to the book? Absolutely. It was really clear to me that that was what we needed to be, as true to the book as possible. And the tone of the book, I just felt she'd really struck a balance between the, the humour and the sadness. I think you did it with a phenomenal cast too. Sam and Amelia, I mean, just absolutely phenomenal. So you're not a classical music person then? I hate every minute. Yeah, I could tell. Especially during that oboe solo. There. there was something in my eye. I loved it. Did you? What was gorgeous is they, they knew each other a little bit beforehand, but not really. They'd nearly worked together, but it, various things hadn't quite worked out. So it was a completely new relationship that sprung from this process as well, which was fantastic. The chemistry between them is magical. Female director, obviously Jojo wrote the book. You have a strong female cast. It's just something fresh and I think it's something needed. Did it change filming for you at all? Everybody who worked on this was chosen because they were the right person for the job. Um, but without question, there was a tone that was set throughout the whole process, I think, by extremely strong decision-making women. And lastly, the music in the film oh. was really amazing. It's the one thing that I thought, wow, the soundtrack just suits the story so well. Oh, bless you. Well, uh, the music is really, really, really important to me. And obviously getting Ed Sheeran right, right from the beginning, that, that tone felt completely right. And then it grew from there. Anyway, so I'm, I'm thrilled because we spent a lot of time on the music. Oh, it's fantastic. That Imagine Dragon song is also beautiful. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Luck. Thank you very much. I have become a whole new person because of you. Do you know something, Clark? You are pretty much the only thing that makes me want to get up in the morning. Wait for me to come home. 5FM. Watch 5FM TV on YouTube. 5FM.